Hey, what's going on, fellas? I've got a 2003 Dodge Ram 1500, and I'm gonna use this truck to point out to you the location of some important fuses and relay for the operation of the starter. So let's head under the hood. First, I'll point out to you, the starter itself is way down in there. So that's where you'll find the starter. And it, it receives the main power through this wire here coming off the battery. Behind this cover, which we remove by unscrewing this piece and lifting up, we will find two fuses for the starting system. The first one I'll show you, this one, is a 30 amp J case fuse. And the role of this fuse is to provide power to the starter relay. And that starter relay sends this power onto the starter solenoid when you are trying to start the truck. There's another fuse here, fuse 20, which is a 25 amp fuse. This fuse sends power to the ignition switch. Now the starter relay is this relay right here. And one of my favorite ways to troubleshoot a relay is to have someone hold the key of the truck in the start position. And while they do that, you can tap on the relay. Sometimes relays get stuck. And if you tap on the relay, it can free it up momentarily. You can remove the relay by just grabbing it and wiggling it while you pull it up. And another troubleshooting step you can do is you can swap the relay. So I can take the AC fan relay and put it where the starter relay was and see if the truck will start after doing that. Now let's go over how this is wired. I mentioned the 30 amp fuse here. This sends power to this pin right here. So you should have power here, 12 volts, whenever uh, that fuse is good and the battery is good. When this relay is energized, when you're trying to start the truck, it takes the power from this fuse here and it sends it into this pin right here. This pin carries power to the starter solenoid. So you yourself can take battery power and put it into this pin and that should result in the engine turning over assuming that the starter is good and that the battery is good and that the engine is not locked up so you can try that out put battery voltage here and the engine will crank over uh, be careful doing that you want to make sure that the truck is in park and that nobody's hands are anywhere near the engine now this starter uh, is triggered by of course when you turn the key to the start position so I mentioned the 25 amp fuse here, sending power to the ignition switch. Well, when you turn the key to the start position, the ignition switch takes power from this fuse and it sends it to this pin right here. So you should see power here when you turn that key to the start position. And if you don't see power here, you may wanna check your ignition switch. This side provides ground and this ground comes from a few different places depending on if your truck has an automatic or manual transmission. If you have a manual transmission truck, the ground shows up here from the switch on the clutch pedal. When you push that clutch all the way down, that switch on the clutch pedal is supposed to provide a ground here. If you've got an automatic, this ground comes from a computer module that is hooked up to the neutral safety switch. So if you never do see ground here, you may want to check to make sure that your neutral safety switch is working. So yeah, I hope this information was helpful for you. Please be sure to let me know if you have any questions, or more importantly, if you have any advice for troubleshooting the starter on your Dodge Ram.